name? My name is Dylan Page. And you are? A senior. Here at? Malcolm, yeah. Nice signature. Uh, it's a tradition in Japan to prove that you really caught a big fish to make a print of it when you're out in the boat. We've learned about various artists. I knew about Jackson Pollock, but I got to know more extensively about him. And the fish, this is one of my favorite. Does he really? Because I like to get hands on with it. Hayataku, they have a word for it. And uh, there are people that specialize in doing fish prints, and they uh, can earn thousands of dollars for a single fish print if they're by a known Japanese uh, painter. This is a very respected technique in Japan. Well, printer, printer, write your name right here. I would say make it big because this is your chance. You're now an artiste. Again, on the paper, the paper has two sides. The paper we're using today is rice paper. This is the Japanese mulberry or rice paper, uh, which is uh, the traditional way to do the fish print. And the Japanese are the ones that uh, got uh, popularized this technique. It started long ago when someone was trying to prove they really caught a big fish. So they made a picture of it in the boat. Then they could chop it up and they could eat the fish later. Uh, but uh, so that's, that's the origin. Hi, a taku. You can say taco. So uh, if you Google just fish print on the internet, you'll see uh, images of them. And how old are their oldest prints? Oh, hundreds and hundreds of years old. This goes back. way back in terms of Japan. Uh, but other uh, places like Hawaii and Florida uh, get into the spirit and they do fish prints too. Excellent. <laughs> that looks like a pharmacist or a doctor's mm -hmm. signature. <laughs> yeah, it's a, a very, very appreciated fine art in Japan. But I think if you go to a place like Hawaii, there are artists with all the beautiful, or even the Caribbean uh, and Florida. So if, uh, the quickest way uh, is uh, just going to your computer and Googling fish print. And then uh, lots of different artists will pop up who, who specialize in this technique. And how big is like the biggest prints? Well, if you wanted to do a shark, a six foot shark, you could. The, the question is, can you find a piece of paper big enough? <laughs> you know, so, uh, th so that's where the cost comes in. I just went to my little fish market and got common tilapias. Uh, they don't, they were only like $2.99 a pound. So if you wanted to do a huge fish, then, uh, you know, that's going to be... <laughs> Uh, a problem for most people unless you have a sports fisherman in your family. Body. And then we're gonna we're gonna I'm gonna mix in some purple for his tail. We can give him a, a special fluffy tail. Here we've got a purple. All you need is a fisherman in your family. Do any of you have a dad or an uncle or someone that goes fishing? Okay, we have a big fish. This big fish is this. Okay, come, come and do your big signature. Okay, thank you. How many people haven't done a fish yet? Okay, well just one. You haven't either, have you? No. Okay. <laughs> I didn't see your hand go up. Yes. <laughs> are alike. You can yeah. express your individuality uh, when you do your fish.
What? So now I think your fish is showing up and we'll maybe give a little rim color here. So here we go. If you'll go ahead and sign it. Yeah. So you did a good job on the scales. See this technique is uh, pretty good about doing the scales because imagine the other way. If you draw a thousand scales it's going to take you a long time. Now, one thing, if you're doing it at home, sometimes people will want to put a, their name or something on it. This is like a mirror image. So if mm -hmm. you spell out your name normal and then you make a print of it, you have to have a mirror to read it, like it's on, on code. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and see. <laughs> see, I think this will help make his little eye pop out a little bit more. Okay, there we go. So now he'll dry five. Whose fish is, am I working on? Do you want your fish to have lipstick on? <laughs> Would you like to have kissy kissy lips? Yeah, because I tried it to lift lips. Oh, okay, so you're wanting kissy kissy lips. So we're going to make some kissy kissy lips on your fish. Okay, so your fish is uh, definitely a girl fish. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, give him a spike, a little punk rocker kind of a, a top knot here. show up today, I'm thinking they have fish phobia. Have lots of strikers today. <laughs> I like your t-shirt. You have a tropical. Where's some runners? Okay, very good. Artists sometimes are accused of being perfectionists, and I think we have one in the back here. <laughs> <laughs> Which is good. The, the, the trick is, I mean, she, she still is within uh, an uh, envelope of time, but acrylic paint can dry. I had a student that took an extremely long time with this, like she had paisley, she had dots, she had all this detail. Mm -hmm. uh, so the longer it takes you to paint on it, mm -hmm. there is a time when the acrylic paint would dry. <laughs> but we're not there yet. Okay, the trick is don't paint the eye. We're going to do that with the pencil mark. Okay, she just left? Oh, well, she, she, she is busy. busy. She may. Okay, I know. so I'm going to finish her stacking up. And you can go to the Texas Art Supply to get the rice paper or Hobby Lobby. I go to Hobby it's Lobby. A t -shirt. Is there a Hobby Lobby somewhere close? No. No? Pasadena? I don't like that. The face is my account. Oh, mm -hmm. 
Now the trick is not to get the fish mongers to cut the head and tail off and take, they can gut it, you want them to gut it because that's the stinky part. And they but scale it? You, no, you don't want them to take the scales off because if they take the scales off you don't, you don't have the right. Is there any plan that I have to go well, through? Well just don't, just don't make a huge thick layer. Do not do the eye, but uh, otherwise you can paint any color you want. Just a thin layer rather than thick. You know, if it's too goopy, then it takes longer to dry and get mushy. Okay, you want wine? My name is Precious Inato. Okay, give me a wine. This is summer, so we are uh, we have the same number of hours for Houston Community College, and this is a dual credit class. This is a fast track for uh, uh, young students at Mount Carmel Academy to graduate from high school and they have what two years finished or how much of the two years? We don't have two years but maybe a year. So it gives them a, a fast track yeah. that gives them a head start uh, to uh, get into college and to already have college credit. I chose so black, blue. red, okay, green, I can do, I can fix it blue. and yellow yeah. because um, they're kind of like so Caribbean colors. Okay, are you they have to meet uh, three days a week from uh, 1030 to 1 so that's kind of a long you get all the same hours. It's just compressed. Yes? Oh, no. Is this your fish? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm almost done. So, yeah, and I just think these colors work really, really nicely together. They do well. Yeah. They do well. So, and I'm a big fan of black, so I had to add okay, that in there. But yeah, I just thought it would be, it would look cool together, you know? Mm -hmm. I kind of thought of how I was going to do it before I actually started painting it. Is this your first art class? Um, Officially, yes. Okay, but yeah. you're interested in it somewhere, I guess, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. absolutely. I love it a lot. Okay, so I'm going to add this color. So now you massage your fish. Okay, I massage my fish. You just kind of tap it to get the colors to transfer. And then we'll, we'll uh, fluff up its little fins. And so you got some nice. Uh, the, see, see how the scales are coming out. That looks yeah. good. Here, I've actually put a little orange. The yellow is like, it's like an eye is like a marble. Ideally, if you can make it look like a marble, right? Yes. Because it's moist, mm -hmm. and so a little sparkle in the pupil of the eye. You want so, did not collect their fish. <laughs> is that lipstick really? Yeah. <laughs> These are fashion divas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm getting it. Well, that's close. You can always cut off the little edge that's not white. Plum. Yeah. Put your hand on it. Oh. Voila, very nice. You have very nice ones. Yeah, bowl. Yours have a bowl design. See your other one. And they actually kind of match in a way. Your color schemes, your Brazilian fish. You know, you can look and they even face each other. This one is quite unique. I think this is a special, this is certainly an art fish. Extreme art fish.
for a non-art major, he really has taken this seriously. <laughs> right. <laughs> and you all have the diva designer fish. I think this is a very impressive fish. Okay, you're both going to sign it? Yes. 